Got a map of the Eastern Dune Sea. That's good, because it wouldn't let me through there. Dursdale Bonding Alloy. Chief Stains Gaffy Stick. Look at that. We're going to save. Um, now I can save over the one from outside the building. I feel pretty good. Uh, what is her side quest? Is it something here? Why won't it let me level up? I've played... I think I've played to here, honestly. I may have gone to another planet or two, but this is where I got stuck one time. Oh, uh, there was still another warrior. I see you don't follow your chieftain in the battle. It starts in town. Okay, yeah, I haven't I don't think I've talked to anybody about anything over there, so I'll have to look. Did I get this one? Okay. Hey, we're all here. What? What can I do? I know like the twist ending though. But I'm trying not to mention that. A random NPC talks to Basila about her mom being in the uh, Tatooine Cantina. Oh, really? Do I just have to speak to everyone there? Or... Okay. Did I, wait, did I get everything? Did I check this guy's body? Guess he doesn't have anything. We checked all those. All right, cool. My map. So go out here and make a left. Oh no, I haven't had the, anybody ask me about that yet. I guess I can just exit. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, there's another... Is there another room in here? Okay, so it starts after the chief mission. Okay, that's why I've probably never had that before. So we got another Gaffy stick. Okay, so we did that. Did we beat all of these people? Okay. We got all the Gaffy sticks. All right. Well, so the turrets are going to kill us, right? Is that what's going to happen? I'm trying to do every mission if I can. That's really, like, what I would like to do. All right, good, so we're out of here. Yeah, thankfully I didn't leave any alive. 
So I guess I could go to the Eastern Dune Sea, but I want to go back to Tat like Anchorhead first. We're gonna go to Anchorhead and then chill. Alright, here comes some sand. People. Oh, you're right, I could just teleport. Well, let me fight these these sand people. That was a weird glitch. Did it just move me like all the way further away? And I can turn around. You know, I found it by looking for it, because I was like, is there a way to fast travel? And at first I was thinking like, oh, maybe this is before like fast traveling was like a thing in a lot of games. And then, uh, luckily I found it. I, I just happened to like look at the map. Awesome. How many credits do we have at this point? Oh, I like the map on here. Um, credits, 1,200. We're gonna go sell some of the, we should get some money from Circa, right? For the chieftain, chieftain and all the gaffy sticks. So this is the hunting lodge. So Circa's over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna like straight up tell them. Greetings again from the offices. Yes, we're still waiting for you. We don't have any new information. And I would remind you that you did agree to do this task. Okay, Very I was just wondering if I could like change the deal. <laughs> I see that. But do you have the all important chieftain's gap? Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. And I wouldn't <laughs> want you to leave without this additional reward. Yes, of course I wouldn't. Zerka may be a great organization, <laughs> but that does not justify us using the force. Quiet, Bastila. <laughs> we still only received 500 credits for all that. Greetings again from the. Of course. I assume that by. I'm afraid Zerka Corp. Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound business model. Save us your commentary. If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. Okay. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had diff... Very well. Farewell. Ah, there we go. 1150 with all the gaffy sticks. But yeah, yeah, no, I, no dark side points for stealing from an evil corporation, which makes sense. Just glad it didn't give me light side points for it. <laughs> um, let's double save again. This is wonderful. Uh, okay, how many credits do we have now? 2,900. I should be able to go get uh, HK. Okay. 
How can I help? I'd like to know more about you, Bastila. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. So the Jedi separate children from their families? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. <laughs> that sounds idiotic. The gift of the Force comes with a high cost. Sacrifice of one's emotional attachments is one of the prices a Jedi must be willing to pay. The alternative is to fall prey to the dark side. And why wouldn't... What would, what's so wrong with that, Pastor? Oh, please, you mustn't say things <laughs> like that. The dark side is destruction and chaos. The opposite of all that gives the universe order and purpose. You have to understand this. You need to lighten up. And you need to be more mindful of your responsibilities. <laughs> have you any idea the danger a fallen Jedi represents? Not only to yourself, but to others as well. Sounds like you're the one afraid of falling. That is something every Jedi should be afraid of. I don't see how falling in love could lead to the dark side. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You sound you don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Who weren't you on good terms with? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. Her father sounds I awesome. Away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You never tried to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. But if a Jedi were to love, surely it wouldn't be all bad. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Awesome. Yeah, so maybe that starts the quest for her, for her mother. Where is the droid shop? Here, right? No? Okay. My B? What's over here? Oh, we're all the way back at the docking bay. I went the wrong way. That's cool. I really like, um... All the work they've done with, like, th like the exchanges between Bastila and my character are really just fun. So much fun. Same thing with Karth. Like, I like, I like the exchanges when they get a little heated. This is a droid shop? Where am I going? She's emotionally immature, so she flirts like a sixth grader. Yeah. I feel like it makes sense, though, for Jedi who uh, maybe don't know how to flirt. I've been reading, uh, I've been reading the, uh, the High Republic books. And uh, I'm reading Rising Storm right now. And yeah, there's a little bit of that 
middle school crushes and flirting uh, with some grown-up Jedis because they just I feel like they have no idea how to really handle their emotions because um, they just end up suppressing them. I'll deactivate the restraining bolt on the droid when you tell me when you tell me it, he's sold. After that, get out. <laughs> so it lied about this. So he wouldn't have been helpful with the sand people anyway. He has no idea. It says he lied about it. So, oh well. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? <laughs> Shall I kill something for you? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Travel with Thank me now. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Could he though? It sounded like they just said he was lying about the about the sand people stuff. So what? We just need Jolie. Is that it? Uh, all right. So we're gonna leave Candorus and we're gonna take HK. I thought I had him and used it before. Okay, so he can translate. Statement. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Tell me what you can. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Caution, shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, Master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag, Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Answer. Not that I know of, Master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be conjectured. Okay. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program exi- Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, the feedback <laughs> will surely pay. Okay. As awesome. You have been granted the following feats this level. Droid upgrade class 2. Okay. I'm going to get his computer use up too so I can use him at times. So I need a level 13 droid for that. Improved toughness. Cool. 
And what's he got in his oh, weaponry? Blaster rifle. Can I give him something better? One to eight. One to eight to energy. Three to six. Two to seven. I guess that's good. Yeah, we'll have him dual wield. What? Wonderful. So now I don't have to worry about saving money anymore. I can do some swoop racing if I need to. Um, and I guess in the, what, the East Dune is probably where we head up for the star map stuff. Who's this guy? Okay, nothing. Alright, since we got HK, let's make sure we save. Making some progress, though. I like that. Always like when we can make some progress. Oh, check the quest log. Yeah, that's true. It just says, has instructed you to seek out the ancient star maps. Okay. Jahani. Okay, so I gotta have her at one point to talk to her. Okay, star map Tatooine. Okay, you have found a map to the eastern dune sea in an area far from civilization. If the star map is on Tatooine, it would likely be in a distant little explored area. Thank you. Bastila. Pesla has told you something of her life before the Jedi. She was very adamant in her support of the Jedi's policy, severing all familial relationships. The Jawas held captive in the Sand People Enclave were very glad for your help and have promised that their leader, uh, Isis, will reward you when you return to the gates inside Anchorhead. Candorous, trouble with Gizga. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, I gotta get... So, Nico won't listen to what you have to say about Mata's contract until you've proven you're a good racer. Okay, so somebody talks to me on a different planet about her. Okay, that's cool. So it really seems like what I have to finish here is getting better at the swoop racing so I can get Nico to sign the contract. That can get me probably some dark side points if I'm a jerk. And uh, the Jawas. So I have to find the Jawas leader. Iza. Iza. Iziz. Iziz? Okay. Let's go inside the canteen, I guess. Get lost, spacer. Oh, yeah. Nobody likes me here. You have the thanks of the Jawas under Aziz. We will remember. Okay, cool. Hello again. Good idea. Oh, no, I don't want to do any Pazic. Nothing to really do in the cantina here, huh? Maybe I should go back to the swoop area. I guess I could just go to the Dune Sea and maybe we could do the Starforge stuff and then come back and do all this. Oh, is that the Jawa I need to see? They said it was. There it is. is. There they are. Oh, 
You are not known, so why you did this? I don't know. But thanks are given just the same. <laughs> it's in the sands of the eastern dune sea we dig for the people of sand and find the strange saying of the people before follow it and you'll find what will lead to the lair of the crate dragon i guess There's a hunter, a Twi'lek. He has seen many things. Look in the Eastern Dune Sea. Ah, some more dark side points. <laughs> <laughs>